Hello folks, it's Rob, and uh, this is very different. Yeah, I, I must emphasize this, warning, do not play with fire. But, uh... Yeah. As you can see, I've already played one game. Now, I'm afraid there aren't any real options. So, we're going to have to take our opportunities to talk to you. <laughs> uh, but this game is very, very, very different, and yet very compelling. And, although short, as you saw. It took me less than four hours to play this game. Um, what is it about? You are basically burning things, and this game is surprisingly more compelling than that may seem. I left click, I burn something. So here's the terms and conditions, and here's a letter. So, uh, yeah, the wooden blocks are burning as well. And, uh, just burn that as well if you want. And you get coins for burning things. Now, I'm afraid you kind of have to burn the terms and conditions. You don't really have much choice. Um, if you don't, nothing's going to happen. So as much as I'd rather not burn these, and they, yes, they are tiny with lots of redacted material that you can't read, I'm going to now set fire to them. This gave me an R coin, and this gave me my next letter. Miss Nancy was never going to give me a catalog until I'd burnt the terms and conditions, so... Now, the music is quite loud, but I think it's worth hearing, because this seems like uh, basically the music that you'd have if you were working a shopping mall in hell. So, that's only going to be playing while I'm in the catalog. Oh, and this is a bug. You squish bugs, you get coins. But the bugs won't show up until I've actually gotten to this point. And this is a bit of ash, really. And you can just interact with the ash if you want. You don't have to. But I do kind of like to just kind of brush it to the side and keep it out of the way. Um, so, the entire point of the game, in the gameplay sense, is to select items from the catalog, put them in the fireplace, and burn them. You get to unlock more catalogs by making special combinations. And you generally get back more coins, I mean, you will get back more coins than you spend on the items from the catalog. So you have an ongoing progression of wealth. Uh, you will also earn stamps, which allows you to get expedited delivery. So let's show you a bit. As you can see, an item takes time to arrive, and while that's arrive, uh, basically it also takes time for it to be resupplied. So you have to wait for that to come back into stock if you want to get another one. Lift it up onto there, and here we have, um, well, it's a hunk of corn. So, what can we do with that corn? Well, we can set it on fire. And as you can see, the corn... Some of the corn pops, some of it blew apart. Some of it's here. You can't eat it. Sorry, folks. <clears throat> but, uh... We'll still be able to pop those remaining kernels if we burn something else. Or if I just apply fire. I mean, see? Burnt popcorn, though. Fortunately, you don't have to smell it. Get 
get some items out. Now, this is where the combos are locked. Now, you make combos to earn stars to get your next catalog. And here we have a letter. You get letters occasionally. Here's our first stamp. This allows us to expedite the delivery of an item. You can have a maximum of 99 stamps and you can have a maximum of 999 coins. Anything you earn beyond those are lost. <clears throat> so, here we have our items in from the delivery. We got this uh, alarm clock. We have this poster. We have these blocks. Blocks can be stacked as you can see. And, uh, you know, someone else's credit card. Why not? I'll use my stamp to show you. There we go. Let's just throw that in there, too. Okay. Things do amusing things when you set them on fire, generally. Or there are things to see. Some things explode, some things move, some things make noise. And you don't have to wait, you can just like, uh, uh, get this out of the way, thank you. <sighs> right. If you're in a hurry, you can just carry right on. Now, I have four spaces in my mailbox currently, so that's as many items as I can buy at any given time. Later on, I'll be given the option to spend coins to expend this area so I can have more items here. If I try to buy more than right now, it will tell me... Please dispose of your same blocks before stations. So... <clears throat> that's a brick. And you'd think bricks don't burn. I mean, the fireplace is made of bricks. But no, they do. Just set that up there. We will. This magnet is useless and it doesn't do anything. But yeah, we'll just set it there. And uh, battery. And uh, another battery. And uh, this battery here. We'll open that up. And now I have a picture of my of someone who's going to write me regular letters. There's a story involved in that. Thanks, sugar plums. Okay, so we're going to use that for kindling. And batteries explode, folks. May I suggest that you not do any of this in your own home, or if you're going to, maybe at least make amusing YouTube videos because, you know, we're going to want to see you catch yourself on fire. So, <clears throat> I could burn that if I want.
And as you can see, it takes up space down here. So I can't burn anything else if I have that there. So there's a definite incentive to like get rid of these things. I'm going to leave it up to you whether or not you actually want to do that. I am not going to spoil it. It may be pointless to keep it. It may have point. Uh, there may be a purpose to keeping it. Oh um, boy! But this is our first combo. Oh We're gonna. Boy. Oh boy. The bike and the pirate are a combo, and uh, that's our first combo. As you can see. Now, some of this is maybe a little disturbing. I'm finding it fi strangely compelling to burn everything I own. Um, I never th really thought this game would be so appealing or interesting, and you do end up with creepy bits of ash like that. Um, <laughs> Why did I order those two? Because that's my next combo. Someone else's combo. This one has an exclamation point, so I guess it might be important. So, she wants me to send her some fireflies. Fireflies are right here. And I can totally send her some of my fireflies, but not until they've arrived. <clears throat> I can't burn the letter on a request like this. Anything with the exclamation point until you've actually resolved it, you can't burn it. I could ignore it. I could totally leave it sitting there, but it means the story will not progress. You know, like, see this here? This actually takes pictures from your own system and uses them. So we're not doing that, because I'm really not going to show you my own picture collection. Um, <clears throat> but keep that in mind, if you were going to be playing this around your friends and family, that uh, it will look in all your picture folders. Gave me a paper heart. Paper hearts are not in the catalog. Again, up to you what you want to do with that. As you might see, there's not a whole lot of space on my spots. I mean, you know. That's it. That's all I can have. Four things. Also, I'm out of cash. You can pick up the item, flail it around all you want. Sometimes there is quite a bit of physics in here, and sometimes the things play with the physics.
So she's giving us a suggestion for a uh, combo. This is one creepy look at school bus, I gotta say. Alright, just uh, set these things over here. There we go. Okay. I bet you weren't expecting that, were you, folks? Yeah. So her suggestion was... Her suggestion was the flowers and the alarm clock, so we'll put those together. Let's give it a go. Springtime, get it? Does the wind up alarm clock? Right. As you can see, the combos open up as the game progresses, as you get new books. So, that's Little Inferno, and honestly, I haven't had so much good time with a game in quite a while. It was very compelling to finish. Um, it's on sale this week, half off. Get it! Get yourself into this game! It's different. It's weird. It's by the people who made World of Goo. I mean, World of Goo is an excellent game, too, and weird in its own little way. You really should try this game. I really do think you should. If you like any of the games I've ever shown you, you should you should probably try this because it's very different. Um, and in more than twenty years of playing games, good lord, well, more than twenty years of playing games, closer to thirty. Um, <clears throat> it's a. Uh, it's hard for me to say that they're about speak about different experiences at this point, and this is different. You should try it. Um, and I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm not going to tell you any more about the game or take you any further, I'm afraid. You've seen everything you need to know to, know, to have an idea what this is about. There is some fun physics-y things to play with as well that will come in, but we're not going to get there in this video. So, um, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys have fun. Please enjoy the game. And uh, thank you for watching. I've been Rob. Goodbye.